Hey there, so welcome to this third module on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and Networking. And in this module, we are going to talk everything about networking, right from VCN, subnet, security list, different type of gateways like internet gateway, dynamic routing gateway, NAT gateway, um, service gateway. And we'll also cover the customer case study where you will be actually deploying what a network that goes actually on OCI for a real time case study or a real life case study so you are in for a treat now networking based on feedback is very important if you're going for 932 certification 10932 that covers roughly around 30 percent and this is by far one of the most complex module based on the feedback that we have received hence my motive here is to make it as simple as possible and you will look at that uh, once you go through these modules this module and go through all the lessons you will realize how simple it is for you to do or uh, configure the network and see how all the systems talk to each other what are different types you will need or what are different networking compo components uh, you need to understand so trust me you're in for a ride you will have a lot of fun and so before we begin let's see what all things we are going to cover in this module so let's look at the agenda or the lessons that we'll cover in this module so we'll begin with network service overview what all things or what does network service mean by then in next lesson we'll look at what is virtual cloud network so this is what you will be building first thing when you're going to do anything on oracle cloud infrastructure in terms of creating a database creating a linux machine creating a load balancer any other task you do apart from user management then that's virtual cloud network then we look at what is ip addresses ip addresses are the one which through which two different systems talk to each other so how does ip address gets assigned to a linux machine windows machine databases or load balancer or any other task you perform or any other resource that you create how do they get ip address and then cider what is cider means it's very important you will hear the cider again and again when you create different artifacts then we'll talk about the subnet which is a vcn virtual cloud network broken down into smaller pieces so why it's significant for you to understand it and within subnet there are different types of subnets public subnet and private subnet what do they mean why do you create a public subnet or private subnet in what scenario will designate a subnet as public or private then we'll also look at different type of subnet regional subnet and availability domain specific subnet which one you need to pick what's oracle recommendation why you need to pick regional then we'll talk about how do you create vcn and subnets also towards end i'm going to cover the case study and which i'm very excited we've added this recently so that case study will explain you how do you create vcn why you're creating that vcn how do you create subnet and other things then we'll talk about root table where root table is the table or helps you or helps machines to talk to any other service which is outside vcn so outside vcn could be the machine talking to the internet using internet gateway or how does what root table you need to create to connect your machines outside vcn that is on premise or how do you connect to the oracle cloud service like object storage service for backup and restore so that's all about net root table then we'll talk about different type of gateways and the, we will begin with internet gateway so internet gateway is used to connect to or connect from internet via the public subnet then you have nat gateway which is used by the private subnet to connect to the internet so now if you notice there here private subnets can't talk to the uh, to the internet directly via the internet gateway if they want a connection or private subnet or machines inside the private subnet wants connection to the internet then they'll be using nat gateway so that's what we are going to cover in this then we'll talk about service gateway which is the gateway if you want to connect to other cloud services like object storage for backup then we'll talk about a dynamic routing gateway which is a, the gateway required if you want to connect your oci network to on premise using two other components like fast connect or vpn connect one of these two then we'll talk about local peering gateway which is connecting two different vcns you can have multiple vcns within your oci account within a, inside a region and how do you connect do, those two vcns that's where this local peering gateway comes handy then if you do, do 
two VCNs are across different regions, then you will be connecting them via the remote peering connection RPC. So we'll look at that. Then security list is the firewalls. So when you have machines between two different subnets, that machine, those machines can talk to each other uh, from the networking point of view, but you have by default firewall enabled. How do you open that firewall or ports across from one subnet to another subnet that's configured or from a different network onto this or different VCN to the, the subnet in different VCN. So those are defined by the security list and there's an incoming firewall rules that's called as ingress rule. Egress is outgoing rules. Then recently in July 2019, Oracle introduced a, another firewall feature which is at a VIP level or virtual IP level. So the first above one security list is at a subnet level, whereas network security group is at a VIP or virtual IP level. So what does virtual IP level means? How does it differ from security list and why it's important for you to know about network security group? Very handy. We'll cover that as well. Then we look at DHCP's options where DHCP stands for dynamic host configuration protocol. When a machine starts inside a subnet, then how does it pick up different configurations that's we'll cover in this then we look at default vcn components so when vcn creates uh, what all def default components that get created automatically as part of that vcn we'll cover here then we'll talk about two different uh, connections to connect your oci network with on premise so in this module we are going to talk on a very high level two different ways to connect which is vpn connect and fast connect but in this module, we're going to keep it brief and high level about these two, but we have a dedicated module coming up in advanced networking. In that, we'll go in detail about these VPN connect and fast connect. How do you create them? How do you configure high availability and a lot of other things related to VPN connect and fast connect. Then we'll look at two different type of IPs, public IP and private IP. In what scenarios you get public IP? How do you get them and how are you going to use or in what scenario you will use public and private IPs. Then we look at also two different type of um, IPs, which is ephemeral and reserved IP addresses. Then we'll talk about a case study. And this is where I'm very excited about uh, the case study, which have, we've introduced recently. So what are the different use cases or different customer scenarios in which you can deploy the subnet and the this is another exciting which is step-by-step hands-on lab which i'm going to cover in a minute or guide you that we have recently added a case study which we are implementing for a customer to show you how these net different networks talk to each other and that way it will become clear to you so in this lesson i'm going to just briefly explain you when we look at hands-on lesson towards end of this module that's where i'm going to go in detail explain by doing these lab exercises on the cloud account. So my, I highly recommend you not to jump to that lesson. First, go through all the theory part, understand the concepts, and then again, go and look at this hands-on. You will really, really love this hands-on in that scenario. And then finally, we'll wrap up this module by looking at the certification exam questions related to network module. So this is the agenda going to look like in this, but let's first look at the hands-on that I'm going to talk about or the customer case study which we are talking so that will explain you all the lessons within this module so we'll first begin or when you do any deployment the first thing you do is you create a virtual cloud network so what is vcn we'll look at in subsequent lessons with that vcn you need to define something called a cider which is 10 0 0 0 forward slash 16 or cider 16 that we are going to define what does a cider means we'll look at that as well then we'll create a private subnet and so which is a network of CIDR 10.0.4.0 forward slash 24 or CIDR 24 and within this private subnet we are going to deploy the database and if you have done the three tier architecture if you might have deployed in on premise on the same model you do on cloud where your database tier is goes on a very secure network your application tier is on a or your applications go on an application tier and then you have a DMZ and then you have a client tier. So in that way, in this private subnet, we are going to deploy a database which will be installed on a Linux machine. 
So then we are going to create a public subnet and that public subnet will be of CIDR 10030, CIDR 24. And in that public subnet, we are going to create a load balancer, a Linux machine and Windows machine. Now these machines will be created in the respective module. In this module, we are going to create the network component for them. Now, load balancer listens on port number 80 or 443. Similarly, Linux listens on port number 22. My Windows RDP session listens on 3389. My database host, which is a Linux machine, runs again, listen again on 22 port. Or my database listener listens on by default 1521. That means we need to open the port at a subnet level for these ports. But the database host ports like 22 and 1521, we only need to open from the my public subnet, not from anyone else. Whereas my 80 and 443 or 22 or 3389, if I want to connect from the internet, I will need to open it from the internet. How are we going to do that? That's what we are going to look at. Now my internet will be talking. If I need to connect from internet, then I need to have an internet gateway that you see on top here. So that's what we'll see or create. Then if you want to connect this network, which is on the OCA network, talking to the dynamic routing gateway, then we'll connect it with the on-premise. But how do you connect that? Using DRG. So that connection can be either use IPsec VPN tunnel or fast connect. Again, we'll see that as well in this uh, module. Then if you want to connect this network for backup purpose, you can directly go on the public IP, but that means your connection or your for backup and restore, you, if you're storing that backup on the object storage, that connection by default goes over the public IP, over the internet using a secure, it goes via HTTPS, but it's over the internet. If you want to not that to go via the public internet, but via the private channel between the OCI and the object storage, and that's where the service gateway comes handy. So you'll be de defining service gateway and then connecting it from the root table or you define a root table on for these two subnets, which is uh, the private subnet where database host and the public subnet where the your all the Linux machine and Windows machine host, those can talk to the service gateway eventually to go to object storage. That's the root table. So this is all in a nutshell we'll be covering uh, when we do the hands-on towards end of this module. So this is where the screenshot of the hands-on module, which we have recently updated and uh, which will also, have, I'll be explaining why the, uh, by actually doing it in that respective lesson. So that's all about from an agenda point of view and the hands-on, uh, what you're going to go and look or cover in this module. So head on to the next lesson where we will begin this module with lesson overview and concepts related to the network service. I'll see you in next lesson.